These are the RAAF's famous Telstars from the Air Force Base at East Sail, Victoria. It's a topsy-turvy world for these four crack pilots each time they give a display of breathtaking formation aerobatics in their distinctive red-nosed vampire aircraft. The leader of the Telstars, squadron leader Lyle Claffer, briefs his teammates before a demonstration flight. Squadron leader Claffer, a Korean War veteran, has more than 5,000 hours in his logbook, nearly eight months in the air. He is married and has two young children. The Telstars are instructors at the RAAF's University of the Air, the Central Flying School. They teach already qualified pilots to be flying instructors. Number two in the team is Flight Lieutenant Peter Scully, 29, who led a Sabre aerobatics team during a tour of duty in Malaysia. He is single. The other members of the formation, Flight Lieutenants Ken Tuckwell and Maury Baston, are both married. Each led the Pierce Arrows, a vampire formation team, during tours as instructors at RAAF base Pierce in Western Australia. The Telstars are not a full-time aerobatic team. They were formed especially for display flying and practice when time permits. Thumbs up from the leader and the Telstars are ready to go. Starter buttons are pressed and from now on the four men will act as one. Peter Scully. Murray Baston. Ken Tuckwell, ready for a true game of follow the leader. Formation aerobatics have always meant a challenge to airmen. Complicated manoeuvres with only a few feet separating the aircraft require skill and above all the complete confidence of the pilots in each other. Good pilots become better pilots. Number four is the box or a slot man in Air Force jargon. He holds his vampire low on takeoff to avoid the jet wash of the other aircraft. The Telstars have perfected a routine of rolls, loops and turns which takes 15 minutes, 20 seconds to perform. No more, no less. Switches in the cockpits dribble oil into the tailpipes of the engines to make smoke. Leader gives an unhurried command. Box formation. Go. The leader has a throttle setting to give him a speed of 310 knots straight and level. And this setting does not alter throughout the routine. The other members of the team, however, are constantly moving their throttles to increase or decrease speed to keep perfect station. The Telstars go into a loop in which they use up 3,000 feet of sky. All eyes are on the leader, with not a second to spare for a glance at the instruments or the ground. The secret of the team's success is the ability to keep within easy view of the display area at all times. An upward climb with smoke and a downward bomb burst climax another thrilling exhibition. <laughs> 